Hello, I'm Julie Hassan, founder of the Chalk and Chances Project. This is our video series, Keys to Better Student-Teacher Relationships. Knowing students is foundational to growing stronger relationships. So in this video, we're talking about students' perspectives. We need to know our students before we can grow them. And that starts with considering things from their perspective, thinking about what it's like to walk in their shoes. Because our own experiences and assumptions can sometimes get in the way of really understanding our kids. So we can start by thinking about how our students are different than we were when we were that age, in that grade level, or learning about the subjects we teach. So consider how the students you teach might be different than you were. Maybe they live in a different kind of neighborhood. Maybe they're being parented differently. Uh, maybe they speak English as a second language and you didn't. There are all kinds of ways our kids' experiences might be different than ours. But in many ways, kids are the same. So at the same time, consider how your students might be just like you were when you were that age or learning about that topic. Now be careful about generalizations because kids who grew up in the same neighborhood, community, or the same age, have lots of things in common, are still individuals. And they all have their own needs and dreams and strengths and desires. So we need to think about each child as an individual person too. As you're taking some time to think about each individual student, ask yourself these reflective questions. What is it like to be a student sitting in this classroom? What is this student's experience like? How does the student feel about me as a teacher? And more importantly, how does this student think I feel about him or her? There are many sources of information that can help us answer those questions. Just observing is a great place to start. How does the student interact with other students in the classroom? How does the student interact with me as the teacher? Who does this student eat lunch with, hang out on the playground with? seek out when they have a need or want to share something. We can also ask some questions to the student. Um, what was challenging about this for you? What was great about this for you? How did you feel about this experience? Teacher Kyle Schwartz started a practice of asking kids what they wished their teacher knew and just giving them notes so that they could record their answer. I wish my teacher knew that I didn't have pencils or supplies to do my homework. I wish my teacher knew that I don't get a lot of sleep at night. I, I wish my teacher knew that I struggle to make friends. Just giving them that stem and an open, safe place to answer told Kyle all kinds of things about her kids. You can use that same practice or something like that to seek some information that helps you understand your students better. Jacob's story gives us an example of the power of thinking about students' perspectives. Jacob grew up in a small rural area of West Virginia, and he said he always felt a bit like an outsider in his town. His parents were both hard of hearing and he was their sign language interpreter, so he felt like he grew up in a very different environment than the other kids. When he got to his class in middle school, his history class, he met Miss Wick, who he says made an undeniable impact on his life. First of all, she was the only black teacher he had ever known. In fact, she was the only black teacher in that town. And so they related in a way where they both sometimes felt like they didn't fit in. And Jacob said the very first class, he remembers her asking, what is history? And he considered her question. And the first thing he, he thought was, how would I sign that word? And he realized he would break it up into his story. So he raised his hand and said, his story. He said the other kids giggled, but Mrs. Wick loved that answer. And she loved teaching history. So he loved learning about it. But he said, most importantly, he learned from Mrs. Wick that we don't just tolerate differences, we celebrate and appreciate them. And that it's okay to not be like everybody else. And he says he carried those lessons through four military tours in the Middle East and they were so useful for him as a military officer and now 
As a middle school teacher himself, he continues to use those lessons he learned from Mrs. Wick, tries to really understand each kid and consider things from each student's perspective. By considering your student's perspectives, by thinking about what it's like to walk in their tennis shoes, you can make a big impact, not just this year in your classroom, not even just for their academic career, but really for the rest of their lives. You can be the teacher every student remembers. For a free ebook full of little ways to make a big impact, text the word resource to 66866. And be sure to visit chalkandchances.com for even more inspirational stories.